Hey friends, welcome back to my studio. I'm Linda Glover Gooch and I'm glad you're here studying with me. Today we are going to talk about broken color. This is something I teach to my students regularly when we are in, in an in-person workshop, but I want to take some time to talk to you about broken color, why it's so beautiful and why you should do it. With color mixing, it's, it's important to not over mix the piles. Sometimes I'll have my students, they'll just mix and mix and mix and mix that paint and it can flatten it out a little bit. Broken color is beautiful. What happens on the canvas is your eye will blend things. And when people get up close, they see the sparkle of some different colors, different temperatures, really makes for a beautiful painting. So let's study this broken color and push ourselves to try to purposely use broken color when we're painting. Are you ready to do it? Let's get after it. I'm going to mix up some broken color with my brush, just mixing it here, uh, some warm tones into an orange and then adding some cool air color. And you can see how I'm not over mixing that. And I'll take that straight up to whatever I might be working on. This is a block in right now on a seascape, cooling it a little bit more. And you can see when I put these brush strokes up there, I just let it be broken, not over blended. You can do the same thing with a knife, taking some air color, adding just a little bit of cat orange to it. And then when I mix these together, you get a very beautiful mixture, not over mixed, but seeing both combinations. Adding just a slight dark and umber tone, bringing it over, but not over mixing. Let's just see it all there. It, it makes a beautiful mixture. This is a great color for rocks, by the way. So don't over mix your colors, just under mix if you can and you'll find more vibrance in your paintings.